Okay, so there's been a bit of discussion on the comments today about the best way to capture the output from the arpeggiator or uh, any other MIDI effects in Logic. Okay, well, there's this um, IAC driver trick you can do, but it's a bit of a faff, to be honest. So I've done a quick look, and the best thing to do this, forget the IC driver thing, there's this free plugin called uh, MIDI FX Freeze, right? It's donateware, but you can download it and use it completely for free. So you download this tiny little DMG installer for this audio unit plugin. You run the DMG installer. Instantly, OSX pops up a message saying, I, I, I'm not going to open that DMG because it comes from an unknown source. So what you do then is you go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and just here, where it's empty here, it will say that you just tried to open this DMG installer and it was blocked. Do you want to open it? And you say, yes, I want to open it. The DMG installer then opens and runs and you can install this little plugin. And then you boot Logic. Okay, and um, I've set up a instrument track here with a, a, an arpeggiator from the library. Uh, arpeggiator Synth Basics. Shimmering Analog, right? And it's the retro synth being triggered by the arpeggiator plugin which is the MIDI plugin there. But this little um, MIDI FX freeze plugin will capture uh, the output from the chord trigger, etc. right? So this is um, this little arpeggiator channel strip preset from the library. Let's put a, a two bar empty region on the track for it and pencil in a single note to trigger the arpeggiator. Two bar long note. And this is the arpeggiation we're getting from this single note. Okay, now on the effects slot here, below the arpeggiator, and again, it can work with the chord trigger, etc. So whatever the plugin is in here that you want to capture from, underneath that MIDI plugin, install the audio unit, audio, audio CR, MIDI effects freeze plugin. There it is. And all you do is you hit capture, which they call freeze, so it's now in record mode, hit play. Bam, done, and then when you hit stop, it stops recording and it's captured the pattern, and there's the pattern there. Right, and then you just drag that pattern onto any track you want. It captures the tempo information. Uh, in this case, I don't need to import that because the tempo has not been changed from when I captured the pattern. Uh, there's a little bit of overspill at the end, and, and there's the pattern. Let's turn the uh, MIDI effects off on this uh, channel now for the track. So now this is the captured pattern triggering the retro synth um, direct. Okay, now here you can save your patterns as you create them. Save, and um, I'll call this one pattern one and it saves them as MIDI files, right? Save MIDI file to disk, bam. Okay, now that um, I've saved it and I've dragged the pattern onto the track that I want to use, I can clear it from here, clear. Now we're empty and ready to record another uh, output from a MIDI effects plugin, either another arpeggiator pattern or a chord trigger pattern or whatever. Um, to bring those uh, original uh, arpeggiators, arpeggiation outputs that you've saved, um, to bring them back into a project after you've saved them, um, I'll tell you where they are. They're in a hidden part of the hard disk, right? Which is your account library, but that's hidden in OSX, right? So the best thing to access hidden files is to get this uh, freeware called Funta, which reveals and hides hidden system files. So you just install this this um, free program called Funta, and there's a little thing for it that appears up here. You can tick to show hidden files there. Uh, but also on your finder, you have a thing here, look. This Funta icon appears, just show hidden files. Oop, there we are. And now you can see the hidden library in your user account, right? Library. And it's in, well, we can search for it now, look. MIDI FX Freeze. All right, and you want to look in Library. There's the folder where all the saved output MIDI patterns are being saved. So just drag this, make a shortcut to it, and it's there any time. Then this font, you can turn off everything. So you 
Now hiding system files again, right? Oh, oh wait a minute. Hide, right now. System files are now hidden again, right? But we've got the shortcut there to where all the um, MIDI saved patterns are, are being dumped when you do save from here. And there they are. So there's one, pattern one mid, and the tempo information can be imported. In this case, I'll say no, because the tempo is the same as when I created this pattern. Just trim off the overspill, and there it is. But let's say the tempo was different. Let's say my tempo, I changed it here to 130, and I went to um, get one of these, drag and drop one of these saved MIDI arpeggiator outputs. Let's go with the second one, drag it. Yes, I will import the tempo information this time, which sets the tempo to the same as the output was recorded at, so the notes are on their correct trigger points, uh, the correct length and everything. There it is, easy peasy, right? So let's make another one. Uh, let's bring this single note back onto the uh, track here, and let's put a second um, note in. So we got we got two notes now triggering the arpeggiator. And let's capture that. Capture, hit play. Done. There's the resulting file there. Let's move this out of the way. Oops. And um, come, on. come back there. So there's a resulting file. Drag it on. Bam. Don't need the tempo information. And there it is. Turn off the effects plugins. And this is the raw notes now triggering the retro synth. These are the raw notes captured from the two note um, arpeggiation. <laughs> I'll save that, save, let's save it as uh, pattern three, save and it's there, I can now clear it from here and it's there anytime I need it, let's delete it from here, it's there anytime I need it, just go to my finder, go to my shortcut for MIDI effects freeze and there's pattern three, drag it in, bing bang bong, I don't need the tempo information, lovely jubbly. So there you go, that's the one man, definitely. This is a fantastic plugin. MIDI effects freeze. Um, it's free, but it's donateware, so I should suggest you get it. And um, you know, if you want to donate to these guys um, or girls, whoever makes it, Audio CR, um, dosh them a bit of money. Okay, MIDI effects freeze. That's your best solution, man. Better than faffing around with this IAC driver business. I hope that's useful.